What's up everybody, this is Travis from DIY Auto and today we're going to be doing some engine cover painting. Stay tuned. So first we're gonna remove all the plastic paneling uh, that we're going to be painting. Uh, so I'm gonna do that right now and get rid of all these, get these out of here. Uh, there's some little plastic clips. I'm using a flathead screwdriver to pop those out. If you ever feel like you might need someone to remind you who still believes, don't forget I'm not so far from home. Now that we have all those panels out, we're gonna go get those cleaned out in the driveway. Dish soap and water. Alright, now I'm going to use the rough side of a sponge. And these are the paints I'm using, a clear coat, uh, the blue for the speckle, and then I'm just going to put a black behind it just so it kind of looks the cleanest. And then I have 400 grit sandpaper to scuff up the plastic. Alright, now that these are dried, I'm going to hit them with uh, some 400 grit sandpaper uh, to get them rough and ready for paint. Now they have the sanded, I'm going to wipe them down. We can let that dry and then we can apply our first coat of paint. Now that I've given those time to dry, I'm going to start applying uh, my black to it. Now I'm going to start with uh, lighter coats and then I'm going to get thicker and thicker as I go on through the coats. Uh, and I made sure to run this under um, some hot water to make sure the paint is going to come out nice and even. Alright, now we'll let that coat dry. Alright, I've given this about 5-10 minutes to dry, so now I'm going to start applying the second coat. that dry. I've given that coat time to dry, now I'm going to do my last coat of black. Just 
Okay, we'll let that dry. So now that I've let that black dry for the background, I am going to use the cap and the spray. I'm gonna spray in the cap until I have kind of a pool, and then I'm going to be flicking to get the splatter effect with the blue. That's what it's gonna look like. So I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, we can start applying the clear coat to make sure nothing gets scratched off. So now that that's uh, completely dried with the blue speckle, I'm gonna apply the clear coat uh, just to make sure none of it gets scratched and it kind of gives it a shine. This is just a, kind of a glossy finish and it's just more to protect the paint. Perfect, we'll let that dry. All right, I'm back, so it's time for the second coat of the clear coat. I'm doing a little bit heavier of a coat on this one. We'll let that dry fully and then we're ready to reinstall them back onto the car. Now that I give these pieces uh, plenty of time to dry, I'm gonna get them back installed in the car and let's see what it looks like. Don't forget to put in the little clips in the front here. And there we go.